morning all of you and let's see this problem so we need to integrate 0 to 6 q root of x plus q root of x and keep on chanting it forever so this problem reminds us of a typical question where we have to evaluate the root over 2 plus root 2 plus root 2 till infinity and the way of doing was problem to assume this as something let's do y and then we are squaring it so we'll get 2 plus root over 2 plus root 2 and since it's infinite series hence this expression s t converges to y so we have y square equals 2 plus y and we can easily check we are going to have 2 root y square minus y minus 2 is 0 so we'll get y minus 2 into y plus equals 0 and hence the idea was to discard the root minus 1 because the square root of something can't be negative hence y equal to 2 is a valid solution so with this similar thought process i am ready to attack the question but here is something interesting and more elegant solution so as usual i will assume the given monster as q root of x plus q root of x and so on as y let's cube on both sides so y cube is x plus y because that is stuff will be back to y and hence i got x equals y cube minus y now a blind approach will be just to put d of x so we have 3y square minus 1 i'll plug this in this integral it's converting everything in the world of y so that gives you y times dx is replaced with 3y square minus 1 dy and now the trap of problem is here the upper limit is 6 so x equal to 6 will give y cube minus y which evaluates to y cube minus y minus 6 equals 0 and which is easy to see will have one value as 2 so y minus 2 into y square plus something y and plus 3 is going to be 0 and you can compare to find this hash that will give d less than 0 so the only solution that we are having the real solution is y equal to 2 so little bit it feels good because the upper limit of integration 6 here is reflected as 2 over here in the world of y but now the big question is what about lower limit of integration so if i just put the value of x at 0 i'm going to get y cube minus y which will make y to y square minus 1 0 so hence we have three solutions either y0 y1 or y equals minus 1 now the issue is what to take whether should i keep 0 over here or 1 over here or minus 1 over here and that's the big question here now to resolve this question is not straightforward so what i'm going to do is to play a trick the trick is of course i can't write y as a function of x because explicitly writing y as a function of x is impossible over here at least with the hand if you are not using any software so what i'm going to do is we can find the inverse relation of this or inverse function in some chunks of the function so y cube minus y equal to x there is no good form of relation y as a function of x here so that is difficult to find over here if not impossible it can be done explicitly using Cardan's method but i'm not going into that details but what i'll do is i'm reflecting this curve y cube minus y equal to x along the line y equal to x and that's the usual trick so whatever the curve is now i know that's going to be x cube minus x uh, well i'll not call it inverse function because for function to be invertible f must be 1 1 and on to right but definitely i can call it as inverse relation so here we go now it's easy for us to graph y equals x cube minus x and we know the point where it does is 0 1 minus 1 so roughly graph will give feel like this this is going to be the cubic graph but my actual function was the reflection of this along the line y equal to x so this let's say this line is y equal to x so my actual function is this reflection so it is going to look something like this right 
So this black curve is basically the function y is a function of x where this entire rest of if I call it let's say f of x and now from the very graph you can see uh, so we have x equals 0 over here and let's say we have x equal to 6 somewhere over here okay so precisely what I want is the area bounded between precisely I want the area bounded between function from 0 to 6 right so this is the area now it's quite evident from the graph like if i'll go to the negative value this is not a function because at one input you can see if i take a vertical line it's getting multiple lines or so that's why i'm not using the word in a regress sense as inverse function but it's inverse relation kind of so i'm interested in this hashed area so the clever trick is at x equal to 6 the value of the function must be 2 why because at x equals 2 we'll get y as 6 so at x equal to 2 y value as 6 so for the original function at x equal to 6 we'll get 2 so this point is 6 comma 2 right now at 0 what is the value of the original function so now we have three possible values so at x equal to 0 the height of the original functions here from the graph that can be checked as 1 so we have 0 comma 1 over here and it's reflection it's reflection in the line y equal to x is going to be 1 comma 0 right so now uh, we know 0 to 6 f of x dx so in this chunk it's behaving like a function because 1 1 and monotonic and plus now of course you can create a bijection only for this chunk so whatever range is there we can make it co domain so that its reflection gives that area and now at 0 i know so 0 comma 1 will be refracted to 1 comma 0 and 6 comma 2 is refracted to 2 comma 6 over here right so that will go to let's say 2 comma 6 so now we have this portion as function and this guy as its inverse right and this guy as its inverse so this is a small portion is basically f inverse x so at from 0 to 1 f of x at f of 0 i'm going getting 1 f of 6 is 2 f inverse x dx and this we have discussed already in the previous lecture because the area bounded by now the graph from f inverse from 1 to 2 plus area bounded by the original function from 0 to 6 is same as the area bounded by symmetricity by the function f inverse from 0 to 1. So if I add this sum of area f inverse in this area, it will precisely give the area of this rectangle, which is product of upper wala 6 into 2 minus product of guys below 0 into 1. So which gives 12 over here. And now it's easy to do because I'm interested in this 0 to 6 f of x dx that is nothing but 12 minus 1 to 2 f inverse and f inverse we know x cube minus x dx so it gives 12 x4 by 4 minus x square by 2 evaluated from 1 to 2 and that value is 39 by 4 so i hope it is clear so you must have understood what value to put over here okay so geometrically uh, we got the answer as 39 by 4 and now you can do it algebraically as well because now i know the limit of integration that i have to keep over here is 1 to 2 and 1 to 2 if we'll evaluate this value it's going to give exactly 39 by 4 so this was an algebraic approach of this problem and the second approach was a geometrical way of problem solving so it's very beautiful that the question hides the essence of inverse function within itself. Thank you. Have a good day.